Hey, welcome back there, investment enthusiasts, and all around just good people. Uh, I'm going to show you a simple strategy for trading penny stocks. So you have a small account, you want to make big returns, but have relatively low risk. I, I say that with a grain of salt because penny stocks are very risky investments. And what's considered a penny stock is anything that is below $5 in market share value. And the reason why that is, is because they can move almost like a, a cryptocurrency. Uh, yes, yes, I am laughing. Um, where it goes exponentially up or down one way, 100, 200, 300 percent sometimes in overnight. So, but there is, you can buy a lot of shares for a lot less money and you can really, really um, grow your account there's people that have made a lot of money, but that is the 1%. 99% of people end up losing horribly in penny stocks. So I'm going to show you a way, if this is something you're interested in, to try to help you out and grow your account. So first thing is, is we want to have a trading strategy. Before we even find what we're thinking is a good penny stock, is we want a good trading strategy. So if we are investing... Uh, 5000 So let's just say we have a small account, $5,000, right? My rule of thumb is don't risk more than 1%, all right? So you could do 100 trades at $50 before you blow up your account. Problem is a lot of people, they have 5000 they put 5000 into a penny stock, and it just goes bonkers, and they've got no stop loss, no ways of getting out, and boom, they're out. So... I like to stay with the 1% rule. A lot of investors and traders talk about this 1% rule is I'm only going to risk 1% on a single trade. Okay, so I will leave this up for just a little bit so you guys can take a screenshot if you'd like. But at most, I wouldn't say risk more than 3% depending upon your account size. I mean, obviously, if, we, if you had a half a million dollars, well, $7,500 at risk, you could potentially make a lot more money than 150. That is absolutely correct. But how do you get there? There's no really getting rich quick schemes. Granted, again, another asterisk here is penny stocks can definitely help you if traded correctly um, to try to get there. But you have to be very diligent, um, not emotional whatsoever, and stick to your strategy. So that's, that's step one. My step two, or let's say rule two, is this is just me personally, is if I lose more than 3% on my account in a single day, I exit all my trades and I cut my trading size in half for the next week or so uh, just because I'm obviously too emotionally invested there's something that I'm doing wrong the w market's ruling against me and that's why I don't think paper trading works that well is because it's easy when there's no emotions involved but as soon as emotions get involved it's they take a hold of you and make things a lot more difficult so that's my rule number two rule number three or Step three is I want to find something that is in a trend, something that is going up, something that uh, I can see a profit right away. I don't want to be holding on to a penny stock for two months, three months, yada, yada, yada. I want to be holding on to it for a couple weeks. I want to see it explode and keep going. Granted, I could be losing out on a lot of hidden gems per se where they all of a sudden go up 900%. I'm getting it right as it's going up. But this is my strategy. So what's worked for me in the past, um, take it again with a grain of salt. This is – I'm not a financial advisor, so risk – what you think you're willing to lose, and I'm just here to try to help. So please feel free to add comments, let me know how it's going, and you know we can grow and learn together. Anyway, let, let me get into it. So what I like to use is I like to use some stock screeners. Here's a great free one on tradingview.com, and you just go to stock screener, and you want to go to trend following, okay? So um, tradingview, stock screener, trend following. And I'm trying to look for anything that is under five dollars right penny penny stock is anything under five dollars so here's one that all of the moving averages and are saying it's a strong buy and it's at um, it closed at 44 cents 
So I'm going to open up this Camber Energy. I'm going to say, hey, this might be potentially one that I want to buy. So it shows me its day range, and it's saying it's, it's a buy. So let me look at it. Full feature chart is what I clicked on. And this is not typically looking the best because this blue line I've got is my 200-day moving average. And I've got certain indicators on here. I, guys, I am going through this fast, so if you need to pause the video, and I can be not as in-depth later if, if I get enough people asking to. So favorites. I've got my 200-day, 20-day, uh, 50-day exponential moving averages. I've got my MACD. And then I've got my relative strength index. Boilinger bands, I kind of like Boilinger bands sometimes if they bounce off the edges, but this is just very simplistic, okay? So I'm using the 20, 50, 200 day and relative strength and MAC right now. And what I like to see on the relative strength is anything above 70 is you're getting into an overbought territory. Anything below 30 is... Um, oversold so I want to stay right around that 40 to close to 70 range kind of saying it's in an uptrend ideally I'd like to say these lines on top of each other um, the blue red and the 20 50 and 200 um, and then looking at this thing it's been staying right there and then the MACD I always want to see this blue line over the signal line which is this orange line so that's a lot of information for me this one is not going to make sense um, to do a penny stock. So I'm going to keep looking. Uh, NVAX, oh, I've been burned by this guy a couple times. But anyway, it's saying strong buy too. I'm going to open up my chart here. This is something that I like to see more, okay? So this one is a very potential. Ideally, looking at it, you want it to buy down here, not when it's all the way up here. But it, there is a little bit of a pullback here. We can see that we're not in the um, oversold territory. Excuse me, overbought. And the MACD is above the signal line. I would have really liked to get this right at the crosshairs. So if you guys can find one with the MACD where the blue line actually hits the signal line just right away, you can see what happened is if this was a good signal, you saw it pop, boom. So let me go back to see uh, if I can find another one where that happened. So right here, if you can see, there's the blue line going across the signal line, and that's a good buy signal. Boom. There's a good explosion right there. And what is that explosion from? So I wanted my ruler. So we're looking at 64%, 84 cents. That's that's good right there. So just for simplicity, I'm going to open up one of my um, commission-free accounts that I use, which is called Robinhood. I personally like it because it's great for small accounts and easy to invest. They've got a mobile app. Um, I do have a link at the bottom if you guys want to try it out. Uh, it'll help my channel out, and you'll get a free stock, which is pretty cool. You can get Apple. I've gotten before. I've gotten Groupon and some other smaller ones, but... Anyway, so here's Robinhood, and I'm looking for um, NVAX. And I spelled it wrong. So here we go. And this is a good carryout into um, my next step, all right, which is anytime I go to purchase, I want to have a simultaneous stop loss order to go along with that so again i don't necessarily have to just buy 50 bucks of this and think that um i'm going to because excuse me let me back up a little bit you saw that my account was roughly around five thousand for this small dealio so going back to this guy right here relatively i should be risking one percent correct just say yes yeah one one percent but that doesn't necessarily mean that I need I can't buy $250. I'm just saying that I'm willing to lose 1%. So I'm going to make a stop loss so that I don't lose more than 50 bucks. Okay? So if I buy $1000 worth of this Envax 
and I don't want to lose more than $50, well, I need to do some math and find out what the stock needs to go down so that I hit the 50, 50. So just for a simple example, I'm going to, let's just see if I bought um, $1,000 worth, right? So I buy $1,000 at this 1.89. Oh gosh. Sorry. So I can buy relatively 529 shares. All right. So if I'm holding a position of 529 shares worth $1,000, which is a considerable amount of my portfolio, which is about 20%. And I don't want to risk 20%. I only want to risk, again, 1%, $50. So how much can I lose to get there? So let's say the stock goes to 180. So I lose $0.09 cents a share times that 529. I'm at that 952. So that's pretty close. All right, so I should set my stop loss at 180. Okay, um, this is not going to let me purchase it right now because the market is closed but you know i would do 529 which is relatively right there um, but i need to set my stop loss so how do i set my stop loss so we need to go to this three dots here and i need to do a stop loss order all right so as soon as the price goes down to that 180 it's going to trigger a sell and i'm going to sell all my shares i'm going to say good till canceled that's important not good for day good till canceled and i'm going to do 180. so now i'm only risking losing 50 dollars one percent and obviously if this thing explodes and goes to three dollars i will move up my stop loss but it's very important to have that stop loss so in closing let's just review real quick i only want to risk one percent of my account so that i can stay alive and make money in the long term. And guys, keep in mind that it's not about having a 90% win ratio. Um, most good traders have 50, a little bit less than 50% win ratio. It's not about that. It's about letting winners run and having very small losses. Even if you're wrong, if you follow the system, just get out. Don't be emotional. There's a saying, a stock that is falling is trying to catch knives. It's always works bad or throwing more money at it hoping is out of the question the market doesn't give a crap about you follow a system find a good one here's some small tips so that's step one step two if i lose more than three percent on my account in a day i close out everything and i start about half tomorrow all right and what i mean by that is let's say i've got you know a position in facebook and google and all sorts of other ones but in this instance we're talking about penny stocks so smaller penny stocks let's just say i start losing on a couple of those three of those that's when i would use this in effect step three is i need to do a little due diligence i need to find a technical reason as to why i am purchasing what i am purchasing all right and using charts using the couple macd's the moving averages that i showed you that is always going to help. And then once I find that, where am I here? Having a stop loss. The same time I enter an order to buy something, I have a same order where I'm willing to lose. And obviously this would change. If, if I was only going to buy $50 worth of this, you know, um, I could basically risk it all. You know, just leave these 29 shares open and let it ride because that's what I'm willing to lose. But I want to make some more money. So I was going to risk 529 or so um, shares. Sorry, this should be at 189 for, for that. But I'm in the stop loss anyway. But I hope you guys understand. Very kind of a drung out video but i hope this helps and let me know how i can help in the future see you guys later bye and now i know